why you have time. This house belongs to the dead. No, Brenton, wait! Grandfather. You're a guest in this house, Miss Stokes, as is your grandfather. You do not give orders to a Collins. He's sleeping. He will wake. I go to your room. Oh, please, Gabriel. You've been petted and spoiled ever since Tad left this house. Not by you. No, no, not by me. Other people see your prettiness. I only see your impudence. Open the door for me, Carrie. No. Open the door. Now be a good little girl and push me in. I heard Gabriel's voice. I shouldn't have even asked, of course. It's Quentin's fault he's the way he is. He always coddles them. Now we have to pay for it. Could you go in and talk to him? You know my grandfather's had a terrible day. Let Gabriel try. Just let him. Try what? Oh, there's no need to concern yourself with that. I know why he went into your grandfather's room. That's all that's important. Do you know what I'm going to do tonight, Carrie? Will you help me? I need someone to do it with me. It won't matter if you're up late. You can sleep tomorrow. I'll do whatever you want. Come with me to the playroom. You're going to the playroom? Yes, at last. The door's open. Oh. Perhaps it was a servant. Mrs. Collins, I love Ted so much. You know that, don't you? my room all evening knowing that I had to do this tonight for my own sake. Now I'm afraid to look. I can't be. It's just a room.
that'll never be used again. Oh, why did I let Quentin take Tad in that boat? Why didn't I just say to him, he'll die if he goes, because I knew, I knew that somewhere inside me. But I didn't say anything. Here I am. Quentin's dead. Tad's dead. Here I am. In a room filled with toys. Father and he was? Oh, no, 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 Ben. It's been quite peaceful tonight. At least until now. And what did you wake me up for? You've done a lot of favors for us, Collins, Ben. Except for me. But now it's my turn. At last. What do you want me to do for you? I want you to tell Father that Quentin is dead. I ain't going to tell Daniel Collins his son is dead. Not for the likes of you. But you'd tell him I'd die, wouldn't you? Quite willingly. I get on the road. fit to hear such news. He hasn't been for two months now. Especially after today. Another bad day like this and he won't be alive. Did you? It would be better so. Oh, yes, for Mrs. Quentin Collins, yes. For dear Samantha Drew Collins. All the Collins money going to her. Instead of you. Then it wasn't my fault that I couldn't do as father wished. I could have, you know, if it hadn't been for an accident. Quentin, father shouldn't have favored Quentin so much. No, no, I, I could have, I couldn't earn my own way. Plenty of men worse off than you have. You are lucky that I can't stand up, otherwise I would strangle you for that. But I can, you know. I'm strong enough. Now you're going into that room. And you're going to tell Father. And Father will make out a new will, and I will get everything. And you will be a witness. You go yourself. Be your own witness, or no. take that wife of yours. No, Ben, you're the only one he understands. You talk sense. It don't make sense to me. I can't talk it. Granddaughter seems to be very happy here, Ben. I... What will happen to her when you die? She will have my money. The money I earned with my own hands. And she can stay here. Mr. Daniel, Mr. Quentin, they promised. You forget, Ben, my father won't be around much longer. And Quentin won't be around at all. Ever. So that leaves me. Now, I think it would be a good idea if you talked to my father, Ben. Because it would make it much easier for Carrie. Very much easier. Sixth birthday. I've had 
enough for one night, Mrs. Collins. Enough of nothing. You should wait. For what? Grandfather Ben says things look better in the morning than they do at night. I suppose I should listen to Ben Stokes. He's always right.